are typically fun to get in the mail unless <laughs> they're of you speeding or running a red light accompanied by a ticket. Those are not fun no. to get. But now dozens of companies sell products promising to make your car unidentifiable to law enforcement cameras. Now, do they work? And are they legal? The Troubleshooter investigates these new products and has the news you need to know before buying. Here's Fox 31's Tom Martino. You know what the white van means. You know what the flash means. And I guess you know what this means. This guy isn't happy he got caught by photo radar. Cameras do a good job catching lawbreakers. Some speeders like showing their feelings when they're caught. Others try to beat the system. If you want to protect your rear end, keep it in the car and take a look at some products that promise to outsmart photo radar. Two of the products are special plate covers. One is a special spray. Do they really disguise your license plate numbers? We put these to the test to find out. The Denver Police Department agreed to help us with our test. What we did is we went out to uh, the Denver Police driving track and we set up a uh, simulated 20 mile an hour speed limit. We tested all three devices using the city's photo radar equipment. Did they work? Here are the photos from our test drive. The first plate cover looks like a prism and is supposed to distort plate numbers when viewed from an angle. The second plate cover has reflective sparkles and it did a better job. The flash reflected off the sparkles so the plate number was overexposed in the picture. The third product is a spray that worked really well. It puts a high gloss finish on your plate, which causes a reflection, and that makes the plate overexposed. So if you're going to use a plate blocker, I suggest the spray. The reflective spray does not obstruct plate numbers from the naked eye at all. And nowhere in the law does it say your plate must be photogenic. Besides, officers would not even notice it. There will always be some who resent the big brother approach to law enforcement. Where do you stand? I'm troubleshooter Tom Martino, Fox 31 News. Well, Tom got the products he tested from phantomplate.com.